You are gonna shoot me point blank with a shotgun in front of your whole family? I... It wasn't loaded. No, but you didn't know that. You were ready to do it. You're trying to kidnap my wife, man. You think I'm... Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit spoke into my house and shot me. If I wasn't wearing my vest... How'd they even find us? Someone called 911. Jay! Check they can't get in the back. You're smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Okay, then, for the exam, please acknowledge. Take him in the back there and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong-minded for his own good half the time. But he gets things done. <laughs> you sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Wonder if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. <gasps> Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. <sighs> There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not going to put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yes, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction? Maybe? Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. 
Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Uh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. Look, I need to know. Where's my deputy? He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? We called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. I have a six-year-old, Zoe. She's not hurt, but... God, the things she's seen today. Lock the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. It's good to identify a weak link. For us, and, and for you. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? I told them what's happening here. That the Holtz were behind us. Fuck! These cops. They might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, 12 years as a flight mechanic, pretty high up. Then, one day, bam, bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners, I kept warning them, but- It's still your word against theirs. My advice, sign the form. Take the money, 
It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You can stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? <gasps> Shit! <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Dish is done. Yeah, we're good. We're good. What's next? You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Be strong, Vince. Step away from the chocolate. All right, on the home stretch now. Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? T. 
to be honest, I kind of fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Vincent Walker. <laughs> you know how to twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed. Will you get noodled up? <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So... How are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like... What? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? <laughs> Love you. All the way to the moon. I want mommy. <sighs> Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? That way. And make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. I'll take care of you. Okay. That's the you desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I could try the manual transfer. Hey. hey. Go do it. I believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> it's always up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. 
You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. out of here before before the lights come back on okay with mommy and grandpa of course we won't leave them behind All right. Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where the holts? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Are you hurt? No. Are you? down and don't move. Where are the perps? She's been shot. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. She needs an ambulance. Get her an ambulance. Fuck. Fuck! 
No, we can't. What happened to Mommy? Quick, Joyce, don't we have a... A first aid kit? Oh my god, I'll go check. Shh, just look at me. Look at me. What happened? Where's Zoe? She's fine. Honey, she's right here. Your mommy needs some space, darling. Help me get her to the couch. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. I know that look. It's bad, isn't it? I don't want to lie to you, but there's a lot of blood. Oh, God. Vince, help me get the wound exposed. Quick! That's it. Oh my god, honey. It didn't... Get a major organ from what I can tell. But if she keeps losing blood, it won't matter. Are you a paramedic or something? No. Just spent 324 days in the jungle north of Da Nang. Saw a lot of these. What? I, I couldn't find the first aid kit, but I got some tweezers, some pads. We're gonna take care of you, honey. Look, it went in her back and didn't come out the front. Means the bullet's still in there. Well, we, we gotta get it out then. Or something, don't we? I don't know, man. You dig around too much and they get infections. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. I don't want it in me, Vince. Please, get it out! Okay. You're doing fine, sweetheart.
That's okay. I've got it. I've got it. Nice job, Doc. Now, let's get that thing cleaned up and covered. This here's the good stuff. It usually stays hidden. Paul's in recovery. Two years sober this July. Okay. It, it stings. But it's okay. Keep going. Okay. Hand me that shawl. She should be all right for now. But we need to keep the pressure on this wound. No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. But first, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. Now, I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. <sighs> Good news, folks. One of you's going home. Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Ugh. Is there anything more stressful than moving? Trying to get Zoe to go to sleep? Yep, top of the list. <laughs> Anyway, tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Why did you... Vince, have you been looking at my phone? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? 
Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. <sighs> you never said anything about him before? I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm sorry. Maybe I overreacted. It's just... Yeah. Like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. Wait, wait. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um... I'm just tired. With the move and everything. Yeah. Uh, we better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Get her up. She's gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I want it to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like death, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please, just get her somewhere safe. What do you think? Will Michelle be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. <sighs> Fine. But what about Mommy? She needs help. And she'll get it. But for now, the important thing is to get you somewhere safe. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. My brave little girl. I'll see you really soon. Okay? Okay, Mommy. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> Hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. Got eyes on two hostages. One male, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy? 
Is mommy going to die? The answer is no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? An aircraft mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is gonna die. That's far enough! I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. And you must be Zoe, right? <laughs> Your daddy told me all about you. <laughs> Best if we make this quick. Be brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you and Mommy don't come back? You know, all the best things about us, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, we'll always be with you. You will? Always. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. <sighs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me too. Those fuckers shot me. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. You do. I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Vince? Is Zoe okay? How are you feeling? Cold. Hmm. Tired. Wish I was back home. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. 
It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. We need some goddamn food. Share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> Come on, man. Just share the food. Here you go, getting all up in my shit again. Why should I, huh? Because after all you've put us through, you owe us. I don't owe you jack shit. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. No Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got my eyes on. It's not on. here. Though... Shit, I got no idea. Breaking a few rules isn't the problem. It's your face. Hey, look who's talking, fat ass. Alright, you win. <laughs> well, anyway, enjoy the pizza. Wait up. Just tell him I stop complaining. Well, I'll be damned. Thanks for backing me up just then. Hmm. No problem. Make sure you save me a slice. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's 
not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. They're never gonna let you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. Come on. Please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Tranquilo. It's for Vince. Morphine. For your wife. I've seen mine suffer for years. You'll be glad you have it if it comes to that. All right. Take it. Thank you. I never thanked you from my shoulder. I was aiming for your heart, but I guess you ain't got one. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back, <laughs> some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Now Tyler will kill me. This isn't a request, Vince. I'd go inside if I were you. What did you do? What did I do? Are you <laughs> fucking serious? Why did you come back? Because my family's in here. God damn, kill! <laughs> <laughs> You're the one in charge, Tyler. You're the one who let your brother go out there. You want to blame someone? Take a look in the fucking... Joyce! No. Tyler.
All right. Get him out of here. Tyler, what did you do? He's gone. He's just... gone. I know, but you... Shut up. Just take her body in the back. Vince... I need to tell you something. Hey, hey, why are you crying? That night... The text message... You were right. You were right. There was something between me and Bruce. I wanted to tell you. I was just so... Vince. I screwed everything up. Doesn't matter. I love you. That's all that counts. Oh. You're not just saying that because... Because I'm... No. I mean it. That's all in the past. Thank you, Vince. We should have sent her to a hospital. It's what she wanted. I had to respect it. But what's happening? Come on. Stay with me. Vince. Why am I lying here? Was I... in a car accident? You're scaring me right now, honey. Oh, God. It hurts. Where's my baby? Where's Zoe? We got her out. Remember? She's... she's safe now. Listen, I... Uh, I have morphine. It'll ease the pain, so you don't have to feel whatever might be about to happen. Vince... I don't know. What, what if I fall asleep and don't wake up? Let me make the pain go away. Please. Okay. I trust you. Please don't leave me, Michelle. Not yet. We're just getting started. Vince, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the kid wasn't here. I keep thinking the same thing.
Hey. Guess you and me have something in common. Both lost people tonight. Should I express my pain by killing someone in cold blood? Look, I gotta ask. When you were out there, earlier, did you know what was gonna happen to Dale? Only once I saw the sniper. So you could have warned him? Like you warned Michelle? Or Joyce? This is all so goddamn fucked up. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Get her up. She's gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I want it to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like this, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please, just get her somewhere safe. What do you think? Will Michelle be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. <sighs> Come on. Cointas goes to you. Let's get you to a surgeon who actually went to med school. No, 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 please. I'm all right. Listen to me. You were shot. And Zoe needs her mom when this is over, okay? Yeah. Okay. Zoe. Zoe, come here, love bug. I love you so much. I love you that plus a hundred. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. Hey, look, you dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <laughs> She's tough. She'll make it. Okay! They're coming out! Stay right where you are! We have eyes on two hostages exiting the front of the building. I'm scared, Vince. I don't want to be alone. You'll be fine. They'll get you to a hospital, throw a bunch of big words at you. And when it's all over, you'll have a badass scar for a souvenir. I guess a scar would be pretty cool. That's far enough! I'm unarmed. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Where's that stretcher, people? Let's go! 
What happened? She was shot in the raid. Looks like single entry, no exit wound. Blood pressure 60 over 30. I got the bullet out. Steve, radio ahead and activate a trauma team. Vince, I need to ask you something. I'm here. Anything. The other night, when you... When I got that text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. <sighs> you know that, right? So I've been told. Hey! That's enough talk! I'll see you soon, okay? It's good you got her out. She'll be all right now. <laughs> Give him the food and send him back in! I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. Hell, it's hard for me too. Those fuckers shot me. But, I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. No, of course not. He was my baby brother. I was there the day he was born. At least he went out fighting. Joyce, you executed her. You want the awful truth? Life is war. People die. And it's not up to them when it happens. Don't you point that thing at me. Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. And they wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Besides, it's been... kind of a messy night. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sheriff! Better not make me regret this. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Hmm. Ma? Why are you here? Hey, Mama. Hi, sweetheart. Where's Dale? Oh, God, no. Ma, I'm sorry. You were supposed to look after him. <laughs> Sharon, I'm... I'm so sorry. 
How did it happen? Romero. Drew us out to talk about a helicopter. And he had a sniper. What, he just... lured him out there like... like an animal? Got something to say? No. Go on. You think my deal had it coming, don't you? No one deserves to die. Not like that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. In trouble from the beginning. Grabbing our guns. And he was out there when Dale took the bullet. Says he didn't know, but... Family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But we have lost so much. And now Dale... I am not losing anyone else. So you help me take care of my family? I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? Okay. Look, the sheriff, he, um... He gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants some book he thinks you stole. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Just hold on now! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't care whose house you robbed. All I care about is my family. Then you and I have something in common. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Jay, sweetie, don't you worry. We'll get you out of here. Jim? You okay? No. Oh, it's nothing. I'll be fine. That is, if your big gamble pays off. Wasn't it hot enough for you in the frying pan? We were gonna lay low here till Romero got bored of chasing his own tail. Next thing we knew, half the sheriff's department was outside. I had to pick a side. The sheriff, he nearly had me shot earlier for no reason except I was in the way. I asked for At least the bad guys need us alive. Oh, I'm with you. Just be careful. She's too sharp for her own good, that one. Daddy? Hey, pumpkin. Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? The opposite, actually. I feel safe. Because I'm with you. Okay. Then I'll keep protecting you. <sighs> Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. They're coming too? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought there was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to.
Hunter returns. Cut some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof. It won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw, easy enough to fuck up. So don't. I won't. Bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't hardwood, so... You saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> Look at his face. Almost forgot. I got something for you. Yeah? Whoa. <laughs> Should've known better. I fucking taught him that. Uh, hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. You ever get those weird floaty things when you stare at the sky? You mean like little dots and squiggly lines? Yeah, I see them. I'm watching the birds sometimes. Lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof, then. Seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? No, it was, it was me. <laughs> Take that dumbass smirk off your face. You did a good job, but you look like a fucking halfwit. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. Huh? Oh. What 
in God's name are you fighting over this time? <sighs> Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on their fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Mm. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long, and then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Present some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well run home. I only got a yell, and my brothers will come. Now hold your horses, young man. I think you should at least listen to what I have to say. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? I haven't seen him all week. Please. Don't insult my intelligence. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I? If you gotta, just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Listen, son, I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for, if your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. Ain't nothing to do with me. It's his problem. Yes, but sins of the fathers, I'm afraid. Interesting. Swiss? <laughs> The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? I ain't agreeing to nothing, so back off. Just like your father, always playing the wrong hand. Ow! Get off me! Keep still, you little runt. Jay, forgot my damn watch. Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss-stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too. You'll be hearing from us. Bring it on. 
I see you or any of your shit heel friends back here, I'll burn you alive! I tried to take it. No. I asked you to take care of it. You did. It's yours. Mine? Took some guts standing up to that son of a bitch. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. He wanted money. Jay. For a gambling debt. Ugh. He said there'd be trouble if we didn't pay. Jesus Christ, Bear. Mm. How much? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces like always. If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. The shed's in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Why isn't he turning off the lights? Thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. Wanted? Huh. It's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, twelve thousand dollars. East Side Land Holdings, eight thousand. There's hundreds of these. What are they? Bribes or something? Hey. You all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me. The sheriff, my family, if you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> You're not messed up, though. You seem like a good kid. How would you know? You're sensitive, you're smart, you know right from wrong. Ain't that smart. I'm going to jail after this. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. 
In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? I don't know. When I had my family, I was so happy. I guess I put that dream aside because I'd found a different one. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. You ever been married? Sure, to Vince's mother. I was too once. She left me, said I drank too much. Wait, that's it. Sharon's bar. Didn't you come through here, what, 15, 20 years ago? Said you were some traveling salesman or something. Hey, I am telling you, drop it. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could... Could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them? Taking them and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. We all agree. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Shouldn't be much longer now. How you doing? About Michelle? Worried, I guess. She'll be all right. She's at a hospital now. They'll know what to do. You know, I kept blaming her for everything that happened to me. For things she said after the accident, for encouraging me to take that pet food job. Hmm. But she was just trying to help me move on. You've had a rough year, Vance. I'm sure it was hard for her, too. I know what I want to do about those settlement papers she wanted me to sign. Once we get out of here. Oh? I'm not gonna do it. I know where she was coming from, but... I'm gonna hire a lawyer and sue those bastards for all they're worth. Really? Well, in the car earlier, I was just giving you a hard time. Huh. No, you were right. It doesn't even matter if I win. I'm just not gonna take it lying down. Huh. Then I'm proud of you, son. You mean... I guess the bus won't be here any minute. We can't go home again? Wait, Vince. In case we don't make it. Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, look. My cancer. It's not as bad as I made it out. In fact, it... Uh, it doesn't exist. I made it up. What? A year or so ago, my closest friend Tony passed. And suddenly, I was alone in the world. My brother was long gone. I had nobody left, except you. But 
After everything I'd done, the way I left you, I, I knew you wouldn't let me back in your life unless... You gotta believe me, Vance. It came from a good place. You did all that? Just so I'd accept you in my life again? Would you have? Otherwise? Probably not. And what about now, son? Can you give me another chance? Look, you're my dad. For better or for worse. And if you'd asked yesterday, I would have said no. But after tonight... I know I'm a lousy person. People can change, Dad. Just promise you'll never lie to me again. <sighs> you have my word. Everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Get out of the way! Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get up! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I understand why you told your mom about the dead. But you got her all wound up and worried now. I just wanted to do the right thing. I know, son. But sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. You'll understand that someday. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone... Well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. <laughs> Even I know when to cash in the chips. You gotta stop. I've tried, son. But once you get a taste for winning, you just want it more. Turn off here. Hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his mall. 
Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? Uh. You got it? A pull. Uh. Keep pulling. Come on. He's dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He threatened us. You heard him. So I, I went to warn him off. That's all. He attacked me, and I hit him. Uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. It wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I wish I gave him the watch. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. And now, it's yours. So you keep it someplace safe. Okay. See if he's got any cash on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. Ain't no use to him now. All the same, it still doesn't feel right. Pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. Yeah. Dig. Please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please. I ain't asking for me. But think of your mall. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. I... I can't. Sorry. <sighs> you want a job done properly, you gotta do it yourself. <sighs> now listen. When I was half your age, we had this young horse. Beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then, one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting. I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. Yeah, I can still smell his whiskey breath as he holds that horse steady. Uh, uh, counts to three. I squeeze the trigger and... All those years I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. You hear me? It had to be... <laughs> Please. Help oh, shit. We gotta cover him up before he... Help me. Trust me, son. We'll be doing him a mercy. Help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay! Bury him! Uh, 
I'm sorry. They'll come for you. They fought me. It had to be done. Look like you need it. Not for me. Too early. Ain't early. It's late. Still, no thanks. Well, after tonight, I do. <sighs> you take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. <sighs> what I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did, wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. They got places you can go, you know? Meetings? You can't get help. Oh, they don't help old dogs like me. They just put them down. He was right, wasn't he? <sighs> Those people he worked for? They'll come for us. It's me they'll come for. But I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up. Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance, it'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please.
27 years. Oh, I knew he had his demons, but God, Bear, why couldn't you talk to me? We could have fixed this together. No payout for suicides. Hope you told him that. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, they'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. Uh, you wanna hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Dumb right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe... there's another way. support. Ma, it's over. We can't win. Dear God, please let this work. Ma, what are you doing? Improvising. Oh, shit! Run, run, run! You okay? I'm fine. Keep going. We're not safe yet. Daddy, I, I can't breathe. Oh, that's not good. We need to get out, now. Come on. Mother. Oh! Get out of there, the whole place is going up. We're gonna have to jump. How about Grandpa goes first, okay? Uh. Uh. See you down there, Squirt. <laughs> Grab my hands. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna lower you down nice and slow, okay? You'll be... Oh, crap. What happened? Don't wait! Get clear of the building! <laughs> we have to run for it. Should we hold our breaths? Good idea. I'll have to boost you up. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? I'm not that big. Ready? Up you go! Get on my back. Now hold on tight. Quick, away from the flames. 
2084, we have multiple officers down. Abandon the hilltop. We need urgent backup. We're headed down now. Over. What a freaking mess. I want to go back home. To Sacramento. If we hadn't come, then none of this would have happened. Life doesn't work like that, Pumpkin. We've got to move forward. It's the only way. How do we move forward? How about together? Come on, kiddo. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. Wait, wait. They made me do it. I was gonna give it back to you, I swear. I don't care about why or how. No hoax. <laughs> then nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. Myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? I swear, I didn't even look. Well, the thing is, I... I don't believe you. How about I take you in for questioning so we can be sure? <laughs> Ow, fuck! Hey, where do you think you're going? I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what'd you read in there that you didn't want to tell me about? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Wanna go for a ride, darling? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe.
Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? Drop the gun. Attaboy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. Hmm. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please, I don't want to go. Wait, you need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, we gotta go. Wait, look! Look, I'm the lawyer. But in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe... And anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. <sighs> He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on then. Daddy! Oh God, Zoe. Come on, you're with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Please don't go. Please. Just look after Mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case you need to see it in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Oh. Oh, all the way to the moon. Say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. the person he wanted to be, and this is where it got us. I'm sorry this is happening. Me too. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where 
thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. Just the motel, but what happened afterward? I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long tongue liar. Go tell that midnight rider. Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. God Almighty, let me tell you the news My head's been wet with the midnight dews Now I've been down on bended knees Talking to the man from Galilee My God spoke, he spoke so sweet Thought I heard the shuffle of angels' feet He put one hand upon my head Great God Almighty